Okay, and by request of a subscriber, I'm going to be making some pigs in a blanket. I'm going to use these beef little smokies and some crescent rolls. I got the butter flake one. I like the buttery flavor in the crescent rolls. You're going to have to have your oven preheated at 350 degrees. Okay, get your the crescent roll out. It's better to use it when it comes right out of the uh, refrigerator because it would be easier to tear apart. And it's already perforated so you can tear it. Okay, so you take a little smoky and you put it in there and it's easy. You just roll it up like that. You can, uh, well I guess you could probably put two. I don't really eat hot dogs very seldom. I can't remember the last time I had a hot dog. It was probably last year maybe. I don't really remember because I don't eat a lot of hot dogs. So, but I do like these little smokies. So, you basically, you just take it like that. And roll them up. Now you can use biscuits too if you want, but I would suggest, you know, flattening the biscuit and before you roll the sausage or you can use sausage link in, links in this too. Just roll them and I'm going to, here. And I'm going to bake them on um, some parchment paper. You want to seal them up at the end? You don't have to though. I'm just... Flaps. Okay. Okay. So I have one and a half left here, so I'm just going to put it there. So basically, that's all you do. It's really easy. Um. Just roll them up. You don't have to seal the ends if you don't want. I'm just going to. I'm going to put it in the oven, preheated at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. And then I'll be back when they're done. Okay, I got two 
tablespoons of um, I mean teaspoons of uh, butter melted butter and then I'm gonna sprinkle I'd say probably a quarter of a teaspoon of even that of garlic powder in there and just take that the pigs in the blanket are done and just rub the butter the garlic butter on top you know just take a couple of shakes of peanut of um peanut butter <laughs> can't even think of garlic and there you go And that's how I make pigs in a blanket. I hope this helps you, young man. I don't want to say your name because I don't want to. I don't want to embarrass you or anything. So I hope this this helps you how to make um, my version of pigs in a blanket.